Good morning, everybody, and my crazy Heather hair. Um, I want to do this for the people who are about to get this done. Um, I know the feelings you guys get. I know how nerve-wracking it could be, how terrifying it could be. I, I felt it all. I had no choice to get it done because I was going to die if I did it. But if you're thinking about getting this done, is, is it right? Is it wrong? Get it done. I mean, if you have healthy teeth, save your healthy teeth. No reason to take out, dude, if I could tell you guys stories, there's no reason to take out healthy teeth. But if your teeth are bad, if they're causing massive infections, it's causing stuff, I will be here to have your back. I am not going anywhere unless I kick my bucket. I will always be here to help you guys step by step. I have over a thousand videos. I will always have your back. So don't ever feel like you're going to do this alone because my email's out there. You guys get a hold of me at any time and it will get better and easier. Just keep going. I know you see all these, which people need to stop doing that because people aren't 100% real. I did my channel to show the good, the bad, the ugly. Everything. You get everything up in there. I did not want people to just be bad out there, to get attention, to get the views. I ain't about views. It's not about that. I want my channel to be there for in case somebody needs it one day. Um, even when I'm no longer here on earth, my channel will still be there to make sure I've made that very clear in what I wanted done. My channel needs to stay up to help people. Um, you know, a lot of people always message me or they try to... It's why the reason why I have this clause in my group, because um, I have a denture support group called Denture Support Group. Um, people go in there saying they're going to get it and they keep canceling. They keep canceling their E-Day. They keep canceling their E-Day, which is the worst thing for you because the anxiety is going to build up. And for somebody who has an anxiety disorder, it's not good. Pull the bandit off and get it done as quick as you possibly can. So you can get out your head so it'll be done and over with and behind you. The past is the past. Keep moving forward. No reason to keep looking back. You can't change a damn thing. So just keep going forward. And biggest mistake is people sit in my group for three years. So in my group, it says you have to have an E-Day or you have to have this done already. Because I had more people in there saying they're going to get it done and never did it. So that's why those rules changed as of when I did it. Literally six months later, I was like, yeah, no. Or a year later, I was like, we're changing this. So my support group's been out for like about three years, I think. Um, but too many people keep canceling and stop canceling it. Because you're just not going to get it done. You don't know if you're going to have a bad infection one day. And your dentist isn't going to be able to get you in. Everything in life happens for a reason. And I keep telling people a lot, of, you know, there's many reasons why people have to get this done. Mine was because of an autoimmune disease, freaking autoimmune meds. And, you know, people get it done for either domestic violence or car accident or any accident. Or they got into a fight or they did not take care of their teeth. And I tell people who don't take care of their teeth, getting dentures is double the work. At the end of the day, when you take out your dentures, not only do you have to clean your dentures, use a toothpaste to actually clean your mouth. So you you do need two separate products. Um, I tell people all the time, do not use denture products in your mouth because you're not going to get the full care that you need for your gums to be healthy. Um, when I changed my stuff around and I decided to do a, um, what is it, gumma? gum detoxifying one or something like that um my gums are way better now best circulation cleaning wise they're good to go less mouth sores all of that but one don't use denture products in your mouth it is toxic please read the box or the bottle or the whatever it is tube um but it is double the work you have to clean your dentures and now clean your gums it's two separate too many people when you don't take care of your teeth and you just don't brush your teeth much, which is so bad for you. Not, you guys got to understand tooth infections can go to the heart. Um, it's not good. You got to take care of yourself. I understand some people just have lazy moments or just how they are, but you got to fix it and change it. We all have things we need to work on in life. All of us. And nobody is freaking damn perfect in this world. Nobody will ever be perfect in this world. Every day I wake up and I say to myself, how can I be better than yesterday? What did I do yesterday that I probably could have been better with? 
Every day I say that to myself. Because I know that I don't want to, you know, react a certain way or do a certain thing. Like, life is too short, and my life is short. Um, I probably won't see 40. I just recovered, barely, from 47 pulmonary embolisms. And it, it's crazy, because during what I went through, it made me learn a lot. Who really does have your back? Who uses you? Who takes advantage of you? It just shows a lot. You know, it's always, if I always say this, if somebody doesn't have my back in the bad times, then you sure as hell ain't going to join me in my good times. I learned that the hard way in life, and I learned it still as an adult. It's, it's hard to trust people, but for people who do this alone or are about to do this alone, you're not alone. Because I did this alone, and it freaking sucks. That's why I did my freaking YouTube channel. And I will always have everybody's back. I'm not in it for the views or the subscribers or the money because you don't make crap, by the way. Unless you're constantly being sponsored, which there's not a lot of companies I support. So I don't care about that in any way. I just want to make a difference and help people. The only thing that matters is that people don't feel the way I did. People don't suffer the way I did. It's the only thing that matters to me. Finding actual good people that aren't going to use you, take advantage of you, or just not be there for you when you need them. But they always expect you to be there for them. No, you learn that the hard way, unfortunately. Because you can't always tell. You know, wolves in sheep clothing, they always say. So how are you always supposed to know? You trust and then get hurt. But you got to learn at some point or another. You can't always trust people. It takes people always like how they're cynical. A little bit. I've been through a lot and I've been treated like crap because people take advantage of me, but because I'm too empathetic, I care too much and it is what it is. I'm never going to change that about myself because that makes me human because there needs to be less selfish people in the world that only think about themselves. But my channel was made to be a support group inside of a YouTube channel and I will always have everybody's back. I will always be there for everybody. Everything in life, no matter what you go through, whether it's a new job or you just got married or you just got divorced or whatever, it's always going to be a life lesson. But you got to pull the band-aid off and get shit done for your own well-being and safety and health. So if you are keep canceling your appointments because you're afraid to do it, if you won't even schedule the appointments because you're afraid to do it, if a dentist or multiple dentists have told you that they need to come out, People don't get it. People die every year from a tooth infection. Something that could have been fixed and solved. And I don't want any more people dying. Of something that could be fixed and solved. So. If you guys have any questions. You need help. Conversation. Just somebody to vent to because you had a shit denture day. I will always be here. I have been here for four years. I'm not going anywhere. Even when I'm not here anymore, my channel will still be there. And I don't want you guys to ever think you're doing this alone. Because you don't have to. And you're going to have questions. I'm not going to get, I'd never get mad at anybody for questions they ask me about dentures. Because just because I answered it 20 videos ago or 5 videos ago or I've said it a bazillion times on my channel, doesn't mean they saw it. And I've noticed that a lot, even when I was in a denture support group when I started out. Which made me get out of it quick because they're cool with bullying and I'm not. And it was actually the own um, creators of the group that were like, that question was asked. You can go down and go search for it. Like, isn't what's the point of a support group then? Just shut it down and leave this shit up. People to just search through. Getting mad at somebody because they're going through it right now and they wanted to ask the question, you shouldn't get upset. Because if somebody else is probably afraid to ask it because of your response. I will always answer everybody. Whether it's in my support group, make sure you tag me because I'm not going to see everything posted or everything um, questions in any part of the freaking support group. So tag me. Um, you can email me. You can do all sorts of things. But you don't have to do this alone. And honestly, it's not as bad as you think. <laughs> um, getting this done, of course, can be terrifying because it's the unknown. You don't know what to expect. I'm glad I just got Novocaine because I'd rather just get home. I don't want to be knocked out, have to be woken up, be all groggy all freaking day. 
doing whatever shit that you don't even know that you're doing it because you're like half there, half not. Um, the first two weeks are painful because of the swelling and the tugging and all that crap. It does get easier every day after that. And as long as you're dedicated to doing what you have to do. Like, please get fucking soft reliners. Why is this such a pain in the butt? You can't avoid soft reliners. You can't. Especially the first year of all that damn gum shrinkage. If you get immediate dentures, you know, wait a year before you get your permanents. If you have state insurance, they don't do immediate dentures, and you can't do immediate dentures, not even by payments. You know, they give you your permanent dentures at three months. Make sure you do a hard reline at a year, because you want to be good to go for the next seven. But you're still going to need soft reliners here and there. When they're loose, adhesive is only meant to be used if you actually have good fitting dentures. Because there's no point of wearing adhesive if the water's going to come in and melt it, and then you're swallowing it and ingesting it. Because eventually it'll just make you nauseous and sick to your stomach. Um, also, too, for the people that panic over zinc, even though your body needs zinc, the law of having very minimal zinc inside happened in 1996, 1997, around there. Um, fix it in Ultramax. Like, they have the least from my research of what I looked up. It does show they are the most powerful adhesive. Boom, it says it everywhere. Um, Google immediately says it. But they also have the least amount of zinc. You can get adhesives with no zinc, but they're not as good. I'm going to be real, because zinc also helps bonding, as well as boost your immune system. Um, also, if you're needing a tube of adhesive a day, soft reliner. That should have been an indication to stop applying something that's not working. Soft reliners are imperative to your denture well-being. Always make sure that you have unlimited reliners and schedule them once a month, period, ahead of time. Just have them all lined up for the next whatever amount of time. Because dentists, some of them, like to say, oh, I can't fit you in for another four months. Well, that sucks for you, but if you have a warranty, you can't do your own work. So now you, what, can't wear your denture? So it's either you have a warranty where it just covers in case it breaks, and you could do your own work, which I would probably definitely benefit, tell people to do that. Because you're probably going to do it better anyway, the reliner. The more you get used to the reliner, the better pro you become. And you're going to master your own mouth and how it works. You know, you might need more on the right side than the left side. They Dentists just put all the same amount in, blob. They don't go back and say, hey, is this loose? They don't do that. So if you have a warranty, make sure it's 100% covered all of your reliners and you schedule them ahead of time. If they say, oh, you don't need to, I'm like, oh, I do. I would like them scheduled ahead of time in case you guys are busy or done and you can't fit me in. I would like to be able to wear my dentures. And guys, I'm telling you, when you get that reliner done in like a week, it'll be loose again. That's why I'm kind of glad I do my own reliners. And I'm sure a lot of people who are in the same boat as I am, who don't have a warranty, are glad that we can just be at home and do our own adjustments. Take a simple nail file. If you have no warranty, if you have warranty, you can't even do shit to your denture. But if you don't have warranty, you just use a simple nail file and then boom, you're done. Rinse your denture, pop it back in your mouth. You don't have to wait weeks. You don't have to wait months. You don't have to go through all of that. And you will get mouth sores because the denture loose and moves around and knocks into the same spot over and over and it causes it. Um, I use Oral-B mouth sore mouthwash. I have it, but somewhere over there. Um, hold on, let me see if I find it. Oral-B mouth sore mouthwash. I use that with or without mouth sores. It is phenomenal. So I would always recommend this. I've been recommending this for shit for years. Um, it actually came out when I got this done, which was cool. I've been using it ever since. So I will always swear by that stuff. There's no alcohol. There's no dyes. There's no none of that. Um, it says no parabens, no gluten, um, no sodium, laurel, sulfate. It is a light mint too, which helps because some mints burn like a mother. But I just want you guys to know that you can do this. And the longer you wait, the worse it's going to be for your health. And if you have infections, they can now go into the other tooth and go into the, and it's going to keep doing that. So save your healthy teeth. 
And I look at it, people ask me, well, what happens if I get a, you know, root canals or not, they don't last long, guys. They last maybe a couple of years, a few years. I've had one root canal last a long time, but that's because I had somebody else do it and they did a phenomenal job. Um, but I look at it this way. If you think all of your teeth are going to come out in a year or two, what's the point of waiting two years then at that point? If you know, if the dentist flat out told you in two years that's going to have to come out. You're going to get a denture every two years? That's expensive as hell. The thousands of dollars for every two years, you might as well just get it taken out. But if your teeth are healthy, do not take them out. Don't. I had these from here to here were all healthy. Not eight teeth, nine teeth. But because Medicaid is a butt face, they were like, um, it's cheaper to just get you a full denture than do anything else. So that's what's going to happen. I'm like, so you're okay with losing healthy teeth because it's cheaper for you. All right. That's, that's great. But it taught me how to use a um, actual bottom denture. Too many people freak out about bottom dentures. Guys, listen, everybody made me nervous about it too until I figured out the problems. Problems to a bottom denture, and a lot of people spread this out now since I put it out there, is that your tongue muscles are doing it. And the fact that you have to do the reliner. The top doesn't really get touched by water unless you're pushing it there. The bottom gets gravity is a bitch. It, all food and water go straight to the bottom and boom, melt the adhesive. You gotta do soft reliners once a month. And if it's like the once a month isn't working, they're gonna have to do it every three weeks, whatever it takes to keep that in there. But make sure when you take your tongue to the roof of your mouth, my bottom denture doesn't pop. If your bottom denture does pop, you gotta do an adjustment before you do that reliner. Make sure that you, um, if you don't have a warranty, you file it to where it doesn't touch the highest point of the muscle. And then you're good to go. Because that's always one of the biggest things, that one alone. And the fact that people don't stay on top of the soft freeliners and the, every food and drink gets up in there. So you, bottom denture is you really got to be on top of stuff. And a lot of people don't do it. So they say, oh, I, have, I don't even wear my bottom denture. Well, that's your choice. Because there's many things you can do. You just choose not to. Everybody's different, guys. Not everybody like to me. I want to figure out the problem. I want to make my life easier. I want to wear my dentures. A lot of people are so used to eating without their dentures, which is so bad for the jaw, man. The reason why we have teeth is our jaw cannot, you can't do that. You cannot be eating on it. You're going to get food in your gums. You're going to get more abscesses, more infections. You don't need to have teeth, guys, to have infections. Thrush is going to be caused, like, there's going to be so much bad. Please use your dentures. The reason why we get dentures is because we need it. You should not be eating anything hard or anything at all on just the jaw. You know, it's one thing, like, say you have a rice pudding one day and you just cleaned your denture or whatever the case is, but uh, what I call it, when people ask me, oh, how long does it get used to dentures? I'm like, well, you're a part-time or a full-time denture wearer. If you're a part-time denture wearer, you're never going to get used to them. You just won't because you're wearing them as much as you have them out. Or you have them out more than you're actually wearing them. If you're a full-time wearer, you'll get used to them within a couple of months. As long as you actually do the reliners and you keep them fitted into your mouth. But if they're loose and hanging down, you can't get used to that. You just can't. But you do get used to it. It does get easier, guys. The more you stay on top of stuff, the more you are your own denturist. You know, the more you do what you're supposed to do, the easier everything comes. To me, they just feel like my real teeth at this point. And you know what's funny is, uh, this is going to be another video of a phantom pain. Still get it. I still get bone chips after four years, guys. Like, this is ridiculous. But it's the body. Whenever your body pushes it out. Now, bone chips, people ask me, what are they? I'm like, well, it's either parts of the tooth or parts of the jaw when they're yanking your teeth out. But your body will push it out, and then you can sterilize a tweezer and then slide it out, or you can have your dentist do it. But they're not the same as bone spurs. That is completely different. Again, a whole new other video. But I love you guys. If you need to get this done, get it done. Because you need to do what's best for your health. What's best, best for your safety and your quality of life and your mental health. 
You know, I always say people go through the five stages of grieving when it comes to dentures. When you lose any part of you, anybody's going to go through that. And again, that'll be a whole other video coming up, guys. But I do have those videos out from the past I've done them. I love you guys. Keep smiling. Keep your dentures in. And get this done if you need to for your own safety and well-being. Later, guys.